Hallelujah. Are you hurting? Then stick around because I believe that God has a special message for you. The greatest thing that God ever created. Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says in Isaiah 53, 5, it says, He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Isaiah, when he wrote that, he was literally prophesying about a Messiah that he hadn't, he didn't even know the Messiah's name, had no idea that it would still be 750 years before that Messiah would show up. But yet in his prophecy, he was saying, by his stripes, we are healed. And, and so Isaiah was saying that the healing that the Messiah was going to provide is not only for him, but for all the Jews and, and that they could receive that healing then, 750 years before Jesus ever was born. Incredible. And you know what? You and I, we, we reach back 2,000 years and, and we receive healing that, that Jesus provided on the cross because Jesus said that by these stripes, we are healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus provided all that we needed on that day. When Jesus cried out on the cross, it was finished. Everything that you and I need was supplied that day. But I feel like that a lot of us, you know, you might be sitting there today and you've been prayed over, people have laid hands on you, and you still haven't received your healing. And today, I know that the Lord has, has, has put me here to encourage you not to give up on that healing. The problem is, is, is that you don't see it. And, and what we need to do, the, the Bible says that as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. And many times it's simply hard for us to believe that God's going to heal us. Maybe there was a past, um, maybe there was a past sin that we did that we're ashamed of, or, or um, we just don't feel worthy of healing, or maybe maybe the the healing just seems too big. You know, I've got a few friends that that are on dialysis, and you know their their kidney needs to be completely restored and renewed. And maybe in their mind, it just seems impossible. But I'm telling you, friend, today that nothing is impossible to God. In John, in John 1, 3, it says that all things were created by him and without him, not anything that was made was made. And Jesus made you and he, he, he provided, he put you together. And it's this fallen world that's, that, that's trying to convince you that you're something less, that you can't receive healing. And I'm telling you, it is a lie from the pit of hell. In Psalms, in Psalms 91, 1, it says that he, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. What's that word? I want to say rest, but I know it's not rest. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. See, the, 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 we, God, there, in God there is no darkness. But his shadow, if, if, if I'm present, if I, for me to cast the shadow on you, that means I have to be there beside you. So when the Bible refers to this shadow, it means, it means that you're in the presence. You're in his presence. You're in his all-consuming presence. So the, the secret place, though, is when we, is when we sit there and, 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 and we close our eyes and we see ourselves we are the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ, and we are seated at the right-hand side of God, that, that we are righteous and holy in the sight of God. And in that secret place, when we, when we you close our eyes and we see ourselves sitting there by, beside God, and out in front of us is all of heaven, everything that we could possibly ever need, every supply that we, we would ever want, 
It's all there at our fingertips. As a man thinks in his heart, so he is. Do you believe in your heart today that you're healed? Receive the healing that Jesus provided for you. See it, see it in your imagination. Close your eyes. See yourself seated right, behind, right beside the Father, seated in Jesus Christ, a position that you did not earn. You most certainly don't deserve it, but God has elevated you to this airship. And sit there and rest in what God has provided for you and receive the healing that God provided to you through his son, Jesus. And just receive that healing. When, as you sit there, feel, 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 feel your, your, take a nice deep breath and feel that healing coming in. Another thing, take communion. Get you, get you, get, get some bread and, and, and uh, some kind of juice. And, and, you know, Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. In, in communion, you'll find healing. Because when, because when you take that bread, that bread represents the body of Jesus. And Jesus has said, remember what I did for you. Remember the stripes that were, that were laid upon me. My, my, you know, his whole body was laid open for, so that the, our bodies could be made whole. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you take that bread and when you chew on that bread, just feel the healing. If you're, taking, if you're taking doctor's medicine, I'm telling you, this is the best medicine for you. This is communion. You take that bread and you put it in your mouth, remembering Jesus, the horrible beating that Jesus took on your behalf. And as you feel that in your mouth, you start feeling the healing that Jesus is providing for you. And then you take that cup. You remember the blood that was shed for you, the blood that makes you the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ, makes you holy and pure in the sight of God. And you remember the blood that was spilled for you. I'm telling you, it'll bring you healing. It'll bring you healing. Change your heart. Don't give up. If somebody's laid hands on you, somebody's prayed over you maybe multiple times, don't you, don't, you, don't you let the devil convince you that nothing happened that day. You could be stopping your own, your own healing because of what you, what you think and how you, how you see yourself in your heart. So today, friend, I encourage you, please, please, take, take, spend some time with the Lord in that secret place. Dwell with the Lord in that secret place. Close your eyes and imagine yourself there beside God. See yourself as the righteousness of God, holy and blameless. And receive the healing that Jesus provided for you. I love you. God bless you. Remember, you are the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. And Jesus loves you. I'll see you later. Bye. are the greatest thing that God ever created. Jesus loves you.